Hey and welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at bounce track to place. Now you might ask yourself what is something like that. So basically whenever you're playing a software instrument like this synthesizer that we added for our main riff, as we are playing these MIDI notes or as these MIDI notes are recorded in the piano roll, it actually gets sent to this complicated synthesizer and uh, then it usually uses a lot of CPU power on your computer to generate those sounds. So obviously all these little settings you change there, they will have an impact on your computer's uh, CPU. And the more of the, these devices you have in your rack, the slower your computer or the more um, processes your computer is trying to figure out and it might slow down your computer and you might feel like reason is getting slower and slower and slower. All depends on your computer but there is a little trick that you can do to actually prevent this. So let's say you see that you have quite a lot of tracks here in Reason and you can see that your response or your computer is struggling a little bit. You can use this trick to kind of just minimize that CPU load. So very, very simple to do. So let's say we want to do that with our synth track. So I have unmuted everything and, uh, except the baseline one. So let's just quickly play a section and have a listen. All right, so you can uh, hear everything together there. So what I want to do is I want to bounce this riff as an audio file and that's going to take a lot less CPU power. So really simple to do, you literally just right click on the channel that you want to bounce. So I'm going to right click on this yellow section right here which is our roof, like that. And then I'm going to select bounce in place. And it's going to load for a little bit because it's actually recording that section now to an audio file and it's going to create this extra audio file here at the bottom. You can see the roof bounced and then you can use these icons just to create it or to show the waveform um, a little bit better like that. It won't change anything. It's just the way you view it. And this audio section here is exactly a copy of our synthesizer. But you can see if I zoom in here that our synth note here is actually muted or disabled. It doesn't have the mute enabled here, but you can right click on it and mute like this as well. So I can mute anything if I want to mute this section here, I can right click on it and mute and you can see it will have those little uh, diagonal stripes. I'm just going to unmute that one again. So it's not going to play that, but it's going to use this WAV file to play that audio. So if I play through this, it's going to sound exactly the same. but it's just using a lot less CPU power because it's basically just playing back a sample, just a wave or an audio sample. It's not really trying to figure out how to create those sounds. So obviously you can't now go and change anything of the settings on your synthesizer here because if I change anything here, it's not going to automatically reflect in this bounced track. If I want to do that, I need to delete this one first so I can go to my bounce roof. It's actually created a new little device here in the rack and I can delete that device. I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard, delete. And uh, then you want to unmute your track that you bounced. You can see that one is still muted. So I'm going to right click on that unmute clips and that's going to take us back to the original one. And now you can make your changes. And once you're happy with those changes, you can bounce them again to audio. And that's just going to save you on CPU power if your computer is a little bit slow. So just a nice little trick to speed up things when you're working with lots of different tracks in Reason. And uh, yeah, bounce to or bounce track in place. That's how you do it. I'll see you in the next lesson.